It's time for another dive into an image, and this time it's an image from March 2022, Messier 78. Orion has all but left our sky for the season, so I wanted to take this moment to wish it farewell and talk about one of the jewels of Orion, M78. M78 was discovered by Pierre Marchand in 1780. Later that year, it appeared in Charles Messier's list of things that are not comets. In an eyepiece, M78 appears like a gray smudge, but then most deep sky objects look like gray smudges in the eyepiece, so that doesn't tell us too much. Here's an annotated version of my image. M78 is actually a relatively small part of the picture. It's the brightest of several reflection nebulae in the image, we also have NGC 2064, 2067, and 2071 hanging out nearby. M78 itself is also known as NGC 2068. But other catalogs, but other catalogers apparently wanted to leave their stamp on the region. We also have LBN 938 and 939, as well as VDB 59 and 60. We even have a galaxy annotation for PGC 3085073. Granted, the VDB catalog entries are just referring to M78 and NGC 2071, and it's not really clear to me what LBN 938 is actually referring to, but clearly this is an area of the sky that's gotten a lot of attention. So, what's all that attention for? First, let's zoom out for the bigger picture. M78 is in Orion, as we said. If you draw a line from Alnitak to Betelgeuse, M78 is about a quarter of the way up, just east of that imaginary line. Orion is one of those places in the sky where a lot seems to be happening. The reason for that is the Orion Molecular Cloud Complex. Try saying that three times fast. This complex is made up of two giant clouds, referred to as Orion A and Orion B. M78 is part of Orion B. The complex as a whole is 1,000 to 1,400 light years away, and it spans hundreds of light years in width. Other well known deep sky objects that are part of Orion B include the Flame and Horsehead, while M42 is part of Orion A. In our earlier video on the Flaming Star Nebula, I speculated on the possibility that it and the tadpoles might be part of the same cloud. In the case of M78, there are a bunch of DSOs that are definitely part of the same cloud. M78 is a reflection nebula, and two stars are the source of that reflected night, that reflected light, HD 38563 A and B. There are more than 40 young stars in M78, and 17 Herbig Harrow objects, though I don't think any of those are visible in my image. Herbig Harrow objects are regions of bright nebulosity associated with newborn stars. They're probably too small to show up at my image scale. For me, artistically, while the reflection nebula is interesting on its own, it's the proximity of that nebula to the dark dust with the backdrop of hydrogen glowing that makes this interesting. This image turned out to be an image I was really happy with, though before I started, I wasn't sure it would be worthwhile. I'm glad I didn't listen to my inner negative Nelly and decided to take a chance. At some point, when I've learned some more processing tricks, I'd like to revisit this data and see what else it might reveal. It's images like this that keep me coming back for the next image. I love looking through the eyepiece and letting my own retina collect the photons. Being under the stars and peering through the telescope is an almost meditative experience, and one that I don't get to do often enough. But imaging lets me see the universe in more detail than my own eyes allow. Both experiences end up taking my breath away, but in different ways. So until next time, clear skies.